break the other. Within the confines of that wrestling ring tonight, Oscar Worthy, we have seen men cripple. We have seen women fight like animals. Every expectation exceeded tonight at the masquerade. Undeniably the greatest show in the history of platinum championship wrestling, but on the night when the impossible has been possible, when things that you never thought you would see, you have seen, has Shane Marks' year reign come to an end. These two men mirror images of each other. Everyone Shane Marks has beaten, Wardell Walker has beaten. Both men protected the division. Both men high five. Both men shooters. This actually is a big one played out in that very room. We have seen Shane Marks defeat then NWA World Champion Adam Pierce. We've seen him beat Davey Richards. We've seen him beat everybody PCW has put in front of him, but he has never beaten Cordell Walker. And just a move like that will show you why Cordell Walker, incredibly nimble, incredibly powerful, and Cordell Walker has experience. It is the biggest test for Shane Marks to date, and it may be his final test as PCW champion. Shooting right in on the leg, living up to his nickname, The Shooter. And right now, he is trying to get some sort of advantage on that leg. Day one of wrestling practice, they teach you that very maneuver. And Gordell Walker using his athleticism and incredible speed and ring sense. But she wants on the night switch and go behind. Now has control of Gordell Walker. PCW fans are used to seeing a little bit of everything. What you are about to see is an epic Titan wrestling match. Both men so similar, Steven. Both trying to get that advantage, any advantage they can, get those shoulders on the mat for that three count, but it does not come easy on either man. Nice job on by Shane Marks. Again, Shane Marks and Gorda Walker, they've known this match was coming for weeks, even months, and they have prepared and prepared and prepared. But sometimes it just comes down to one mistake, one freak injury, and the whole thing can end in a heartbeat. We have seen that tonight. Every move in that wrestling ring can be your last. Absolutely. Absolutely, Stephen. Right now, they're in that feeling now process. Seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. You can't jump in. You cannot jump in. You cannot make a mistake with, with an opponent like this. And both men know it. Uh, going in very tenuously. We have seen Gordon Walker use that submission hold where he places his own head in the back of the leg and folds them over. The switch muscle, Stephen. We have seen Shane Marks win with a Death Valley driver. The reverse of that move that he calls the natural selection. We saw him hit a 450 splash on Andy Anderson to defeat him. There is nothing in a wrestling ring that those two men cannot do. See the, see the, the revelation has come from a head to the high suplex into a pin. Shane Marks has come from that old school style of champion. A guy who can do it all. Right into that headlock, Gordell Walker looked like he was going to tie up with Shane Marks. Smart 
it, grab him in headlock, and now takes him down in one. I love what Cordell's doing again. He's making Shane Hawks carry his weight. He's like, over and over again. Wear him down. Make him carry your weight. The referee obviously both shoulders not down long enough to warn a count, and now Shane Marks fights for it and gets the head scissors. But Cordell Walker already up to a base in order to get out. Nice head stand. Shane Marks going to rest on this. That's what's coming next. Cordell pops his head right out of there. Snags Shane Marks in the headlock. Everything about Cordell Walker is designed to win wrestling matches. And right now, if it was scored on points, you've got to give it to Cordell Walker. So far, he has controlled Shane Marks on that back for the majority of this match. That's what I see. He's not, he's not making it flashy, but what he's doing is wearing him down. Whoa! Oh, and Shane Marks out there in this time. You do not see Shane Marks. Have to step out of that ring to catch his breath very often. You do not see him have to collect himself out of that ring. Usually it's Shane Marks who is pushing the action, forcing his opponent to make a mistake, forcing his opponent to wrestle his match. But right now, Gordon Walker has been throwing his way with the first big knockdown of the match. Showing how the spot both men on. Take that count. Be the guy in the bench. Reset your strategy. Figure out something else to do with what you really wasn't working. That's what they're doing right now. 